In this video, I'll show you how to use a superlative and the present perfect tense. These two things go together when talking about an experience or a condition that is the best, the worst, the biggest, the smallest that a person has ever experienced in his or her life. Here's the pattern for this type of sentence. There are a lot of parts to it. Subject and then the verb be, present tense or past tense. Article, in this case we'll use the. Then the superlative, adjective for a noun. Sometimes you don't need the noun. You could just use the superlative. And this is another part of the sentence. This is a clause which refers back to this noun. That is optional. You don't have to use this, but it's good when practicing this to include that. Then a subject after that. Then the present perfect. The word ever is often used with the present perfect. It goes between the helping verb and the main verb. In this kind of a sentence, the main verb is actually have, but it's in the form of the past participle. It's the best pizza. Here's the superlative adjective. This is the superlative adjective for good. And this is used for a noun. After pizza, you could add on to this that I have ever had. Here's the present perfect tense. The main verb is have. The helping verb is also have but this is in the form of a past participle. This is actually a clause, all of this, describing the word pizza. It's the best pizza that I have ever had. You could take off that. It's not necessary to use that in introducing this clause. You could also take off the word pizza and keep the superlative adjective, it's the best I have ever had. A person would know what you're talking about within the conversation, but if you want to be absolutely clear, then you would put the noun here. It's the best pizza I have ever had. This is the most difficult thing that I have ever done. Here's the superlative adjective. The adjective is difficult, and this is for the noun thing. The word that introduces this clause. This is optional. You don't have to use that, but many people do include it. And then here is the present perfect tense. This is the past participle for the verb do. It's very common to hear someone use the verb do in a sentence like this, that I have ever done. This is in reference to activity, something that you have done. This is the most difficult thing that I have ever done. It is the largest city they have ever visited. Here's the superlative for the noun city. And then after the subject here, this is the present perfect tense. This is the past participle for the verb visit. It is the largest city they have ever visited. She's the greatest artist we have ever met. Here's the superlative adjective for the noun artist. Here is the present perfect tense. 
you could replace this adjective with other adjectives. If we use the word interesting as an adjective, then put most in front of interesting because interesting has two or more syllables. So she's the most interesting artist we have ever met.